Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. <laughs> positive mental attitude. And you know this, man! After leaving Thailand, I traveled to Shanghai, China, and I had a whole bunch of hours layover, just enough time to go into the center and see the Bund from a different perspective. I'd been to Shanghai before, and I'd done the skyline, and this time I wanted to see the perspective from the other side of the river. I was also super excited to do the maglev train again, which is a magnetic train, goes up to crazy speed, super fast, and it's a pretty awesome experience to ride. So whilst other guys had luggage issues, I was aware that I had to maximize my time as quickly as possible. So onto the maglev magnetic train, and here's some information about it. literally so much fun to be looking out the window and seeing the high speeds that you get up to. <laughs> now the speed of this footage has not been altered in any way. This is exactly the speed that the train goes and it goes a lot faster. The distance I needed to travel was from Pudong International Airport into Longyang Road to get a metro train and this is roughly maybe 19 miles, 30 kilometers ish. journey takes a little under eight minutes. It purrs like a kitten. I've done another video which is entirely the journey so you can see it from start to finish. Here's a link above. Yes as you might have noticed from the footage guys the train does actually bank a lot when it's going in a circular direction and I enjoyed the journey so much that I decided to film it going back to the airport in its entirety. Very awesome. So after leaving the maglev guys, it was on to Shanghai's Metro Tube Underground System, I guess you'd say. Like most in different countries, it all works on colour codes. So once I actually found one that was in English, you can't go wrong. Unless you're colour blind, then you can have a very different outcome. So for the most part, again, another fun experience. Please 
So as much as I was aware of the time, I was also very aware that sometimes time can be taken away from you very easily. As such, I needed to prioritise where I needed to go. But there was always time to watch some awesome street dancing. This is something I've seen in previous years. It's quite popular in China. What amused me here, if you keep your eye on the lady closest to us, she generally seems to lose interest and then just wanders off. So enough of all this and on to the boat. So the last time I was in Shanghai, I didn't have enough time allowance to go to the Bund. This here is the older part where directly across the river you've got the newer district. So the last time I was on the top of the observation deck of the bottle opener building. This time I want to come here and experience the older part of Shanghai. And I also wanted to see the bottle opener and the other buildings from this perspective. So whilst there are many things to look at on Shanghai streets, some of them a little bizarre, it was however now time for me to say goodbye and head back to the airport. Interestingly enough guys, I got on the plane, I picked a random movie and the start of that movie featured the Bund in Shanghai from almost the same place where I was standing earlier that day. So that guys was an awesome couple hours in China for a layover. The people I met were awesome, the weather was fantastic, which all made for a fun time. More fun videos of this crazy thing called life to be uploaded. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and get notified when new videos drop. Guys, I've said it a thousand times and as always, have an awesome day, own it, make it yours, smile as much as you can, and tomorrow try and double the smile factor. See ya. Yeah, yeah baby! <laughs> yeah.